Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Brandon Mack again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about Keyshawn Lawrence and him committed to transfer to OU from Tennessee. So this would be OU's second transfer from Tennessee um, alongside with uh, Juan A. Uh, Morris. Um, yeah, I mean, when you hear that Keyshawn was thinking about going to transfer, and, you know, of course OU popped up because he's really interested in, o in OU. Um, I want to say like other schools are involved too, but I think it, may it mostly can't end it. I don't know about Eric. That's what I, say. I think he visited Texas, but I think that's Eric Gray that visited Texas and then visited us. But um, yeah, guys, say uh, he uh, Keyshawn decided to transfer. This is a big get for the safety position for Alex Grinch in our defense. Um, if you're an OU fan, you know we had some some spots you wanted to add some more talent to. Um, one being you want to add more quarterbacks, considering that Taron Mordecai and Chandler Morris all just transferred out. Um, it kind of left you with a light class. And also, I want to say Tanner Strafer, too, was gone, too. So you had two quarterbacks, basically, in uh, Caleb Williams and Spencer Rattler. And one of those guys is an early enrollee from the 2021 class. So um, you want to add another quarterback. Um, you had that with some two walk-ons and also from a transfer from Penn State, which we talked about him in the last video. Um, you add, you add some more depth in the quarterback room, which you really need because, you know, it takes one bad play and then you're out of a starting quarterback and then you have to rely on a freshman. And I, I think Caleb Williams will be the second string quarterback. So after that, um, was running back. Uh, we're still waiting on the running back room. We're still waiting on what we're going to do about that. I've heard things saying that we're going to roll the four with the three we got and put Mike Henderson, switch Mike over from H back room over to the running back room um, and put him as the fourth back because he can play running back. Um, honestly, I wouldn't, I, I'm not going to say I, I wouldn't do that, but I feel like if you have the room, these scholarships, take Eric Gray from the transfer portal. Um, I know, I know OU's been talking to Eric Gray and I know he really wants to come to OU. It's just, I think what's coming down to this, does OU want to take the risk of bringing in a transfer and running someone off, running off someone else, like a Marcus Major or a, um, I don't, I don't know about Seth, but it could be Seth. He made a side transfer, transfer. Um, you know, it, it just depends. I don't think, I think Kenny's not going to transfer. We bring in Eric. I think everyone knows that Kenny and Brooks are going to get the majority of the carries. So, yeah, um, they're, they're looking at it that way, too, because they don't want to lose. They, they don't know they, it's worth possibly, not saying it's going to happen, but possibly losing someone to the transfer pool from OU from the running back room. So, um, then O-line at tackle spot, we addressed that with William Morris, and then we also got a transfer from, I want to say, Arizona. Um, he, he plays, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but, uh, he played center over there. He played center guard all day at Arizona. Um, you get that transfer in. So that helps with the center position because you're losing Creed Humphrey to the draft. And then, um, you really don't, at that point, you're kind of worried about Shui. Because you have, you have centers. You, you have Andrew Rain. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll be a sophomore this year. Did he redshirt him? Maybe might, you might redshirt him. Um, so let's go to the redshirt freshman. He'll be a redshirt freshman next year. He can play center. You have uh, Murray, Chris Murray. Um, he can play center. He's a junior. Uh, he just transferred from UCLA. So you had players, but you still want to add some more to the O-line. So you address the O-line. You address – now you address the safety spot. That a lot of people were kind of saying, yes, we have Justin Harrington. I think Justin Harrington will be a beast. I've heard nothing but good things for him before he got hurt from OU. So I think he's going to be a beast. Um, and you still have uh, Pat Fields back there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Pat Fields is coming back. So you still have Pat Fields and all down there. Um, it's going to be – it's going to be if you're, if you're an OU fan, the more you see these guys come, the more transfers you come in and addressing spots of not really need, but spots of need for death, um, for the death chart, you get really hyped and you, you start thinking maybe this OU team should be ranked number one or number two in the nation going into next year. Um, at first, I was more in the three to four range, but – Guys, with all, with all the positions of need being addressed and adding more players there, and not just, just not just like any players, but good quality players, like guys that actually have talent, and you add them to a position, that only makes your depth a lot. And it's not only that, but it also in practice, guys, iron sharpens iron. This will can make these guys compete more. Because you know, because everyone wants to play. I mean, everyone wants to start for a, a, a national contender. And there's sometimes people, guys, don't, for some reason, they don't, when there's not competition, guys get laid back, get lazy. You don't want that. You want competition at your camps, at your practices. 
That's why you look at Alabama, the reason why they're always so good year in, year in, year out, is because not only do they have the talent, but the guys that start know if they mess up or if they take one play off, the guy behind them that is also a four-star, a high four-star or a five-star, can easily take their spot because they have just the same amount of skills, not more skill than they do. So you always got to keep working. You always got to be working. So adding these guys into this team is only going to make everyone else around them practice harder and play harder. So um, overall, I'm very, I'm very happy with the kid, with Keyshawn. Um, I, I can't wait to see what he does at OU in a senior uniform. Um, still waiting on Eric Gray. I want. I, 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 at first, I was like, no, nah, I really have Keyshawn, which I still think I still stand by that. But now, uh, now I wonder since Keyshawn, because there is a report saying Keyshawn really wants to be a sooner. I think now you take him just because you want to have that depth. So we'll see what happens. Um, I know this happened earlier today, but I'm only I'm doing this late. But I had things going on today where I couldn't just hop on as soon as it happened. But I did see it as soon as it happened. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to talk about Eric Gray a little bit and also uh, talk about the Keyshawn commitment to transfer OU. As always, guys, it's been your boy Boomer Mackey. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. As always, peace out.